what's going on, UBA? This is the voice of choice, Sean Knight Faison. And once again, I'm being joined by the Rambler himself, Kenny Latham. What's going on? What's going on, Sean Knight? We're back again for another uh, matchup here. Out, We are in uh, the middle of Long Island, I would say, Wontaw Lanes. Mm -hmm. And we have ourselves a match between two of the top teams in the Long Island division. Uh, right now, I'm not sure exactly the exact standings, but we're definitely near the top mm -hmm. between Long Island Legends and uh, the newest team in this division, released the Kraken, with a very good start to their uh, inaugural season. Yeah, good. <laughs> good is an understatement. Release the Krakens, even though they're new, in my opinion, one of the most, if not the most dangerous team in the Long Island division. Yes, Going sir. against not, well, they're not slouches. The Long Island Legends, they've, they've made it to the playoffs before. Yeah, and this division is one of the most stacked divisions in all of UBA, not just New York. I'm definitely probably the most stacked division in New York, but maybe in all of the UBA. We have ourselves former champions BC Crew, former runners-up Royal Flush, former many former playoff teams like Killers Grips is out here, mm -hmm. Project KG. Mayhem's out here, a lot of very good teams out here. Yeah, and we're going to be get, watching the scratch pair first. Can you tell us a little bit about who is on the scratch yes, pair for on, both teams? On the scratch pair representing Long Island Legends, we have Ray Collins, Stephen Bennett, and Pierce Field. Representing Release the Kraken, we have Tony Macchietto, Chris Vietri, and Phil Macchietto. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're going to be checking them out. <sighs> a lot of heavy hitters, both sides. Uh, one thing, one notable thing about Long Island Legends, even though there's handicap one and handicap two, not really many handicap quote unquote bowlers on Long Island Legends. Yeah, the averages for these guys, other than on the handicap pairs, are like 229, 232, 233. But I have 210, 215 out there. I don't know the averages for the Kraken team. But we are starting off on the left lane with Tony Macchietto leading off for release the Kraken on the left lane. It will be ABC on your screen. And almost a four count to start. Almost a four, but, got a no, five. but he got but he got a high five, and it was definitely a high five. It went very high. What up, a rod dog? What up, Yo. rod dog? <laughs> Another, another one of our commentators, Paul Rodriguez. And, shout out to Paul Rodriguez. And shout out to the Long Island Legends. Yeah, Ray Collins. The box. Ray Collins with an early strike to start things off for the Legends. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, it's good to have Rod Dog also alongside us. You know, even in capacity of a viewer, you know, you've been viewing UBA for a long time, man. When you see a new team like Release the Krakens coming in and really, you know, putting everyone on notice, you know, taking it to teams like Royal Flush and so on and so forth. What do you see for that team? Listen, all they got to do is bowl. You know, it's just no matter how good teams are, everybody can have a bad day, and they, they got a lot of good bowlers on release to Kraken. But I do got to say this, because I, when I came in, they, they, they was, it was semi-old school, where they took it back a little bit, and they were, um, they, they put the hands in, and they said some words, and then they were like, you know, like, kind of like a, a huddle, like a yay team. But it was kind of weak. I was like, you guys got to step it up a little bit. If anything, they should have did like a release to crack and yell cracking at the I end know, of something. I know, I know. He's yelling right now. He's yelling at that four pin for standing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well I mean, you throw a better ball, you won't leave a four pin. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Bennett with a four pin over on 26, but Vietri with a strike for the Kraken to get themselves back on the board. Indeed. So, scratch action. It is what it is. What you bowl is what you bowl. You got to put those numbers up. You got to put the pressure on the team early. It's the it's a race to 21, 40 point system. First team to get more than 20. Well, it's definitely money for them. And that, that Sparrow's money too. All right, on the left lane, we have Phil Macchietto anchoring the release to Kraken team, and looks like straight up 10 and almost a 7-10, but the seven falls late. Here we see Pierce Field on the right lane for the Long Island Legends. A lot of revs, as you'll usually see. And, you know, definitely but doing damage to the rack, but again. Needs one more rev to get the seven out. Yeah, one more rev. Well, we have the 7-10, but we only have the seven in one lane, 10 in the other. Both teams, not necessarily the loudest, but their their um their shot speaks more volumes than they'll speak out loud on the lanes. As you see the 10 pin conversion here by Phil 
And the seven pin will be converted by Pierce. And we are one frame in, and because of that split by Tony to start, uh, Legends have a very slight lead here on the scratch pair. Yeah, definitely an early blink with that five count. Um, getting getting the wood, not playing hero ball necessarily, going for you know more than going for the whole thing, and could could pay could pay dividends at the end, depending on the end of the match. Yes. All right, here is Tony up on the right lane, and he's back on track with a strike. Yeah, and there we go. He celebrates. You know, hopefully, hopefully, he might be might be making up for that first frame. Yeah, potential 278 finish for him. Yep. Here's Ray on the left lane, and he is first on the pair with a double to start things off. Yeah, the double trying to cause some trouble a little early. Who do you give the edge to, Kenny? I mean, I don't know much about Willis Kraken, to be honest with you. But, I mean, they look like they know what they're doing out here. I mean, the standings speak themselves. Uh, Loyal Legends, I'm good friends with a lot of these guys. So, I mean, I can be a little impartial towards them. But, I mean, it's going to be a good match regardless. I can tell. This Willis Kraken team knows what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely know what they're doing. And uh, it looks like, um, is that Steve Bennett? Yes, yeah, Steven Bennett Steve. with a strike. Yes, he did. What up, Bennett? <laughs> doing all right, doing all right. So, Legends, y'all trying to make it back to the playoffs and um, maybe get a little further than what y'all did before? I mean, we made playoffs two years in a row. We've lost first round each year, so we're going to try. Hey, hey, nothing beats a try but a failure. Now, I don't think y'all plan to fail. Definitely not. All right, here is Pierce on the left lane for the Legends after uh, Chris on the right lane leaves the uh, 3 6 10. Pierce trying to get that seven pin out and does so this time. Yeah, great adjustment off of the first shot. That little more like an area check than anything with the first ball. And I think he knows he has a little more room to play with. Yeah, and nice conversion on the 3-6-10 yep. by Chris. So uh, three bowlers on each side. We have, well, almost all clean frames, with the exception of Phil Macchiato's first frame. No, that was uh, Tony Macchiato. Tony Phil's Macchiato. Sorry, sorry about that. Got my macchiatos mixed up. <laughs> and ooh, we, don't, we almost had a Malik moment. Almost had a Malik. But the 10 falls late, and only the 8 pin stands for Phil. And a lovely That's shot of, of, two, of two jersey names together. <laughs> they, are they our brothers, I'm assuming? <laughs> are they brothers? I mean, they have the same last name, so. Well, one is a prince. Yes, and the other one is not. Only thing is, uh, you know, which one, which breed, which breed would that be? <laughs> a dog and a donkey? I don't know. <laughs> well, he certainly wasn't a donkey on that eight pin conversion. Takes it out, no problem. Usually a high percentage on converting eight pins. But then yeah. again, where there's, where there's makes, there are misses too, yes. and that definitely wasn't a miss. All right, Tony on the left lane. And back on with a double. Oh, that, that was Phil. They got the, the, that means the mind things might stop then. Uh, they, they don't even know their own teammates. They use, geez. I thought we was wrong because Shondai called him Phil also. There you go. All I right. thought this was wrong because Shondai called him Phil also. I got confused for a second. Those are my sons. Meanwhile, we see Ray tripping the seven pin lane for an opening triple for the Long Island Legends. Yeah, great overhand right slap to the seven pin. Here is Chris now on the left lane for release the Kraken. Gets the ball out, ball comes back, and all 10 go down. Yeah, a little, little mixy out here. Yeah, either way, a mix still equal to X, so it's all good. So Steve Bennett definitely made reference to them making the playoffs two years in a row, getting knocked out in the first round, looking to still get back and to see if that ball's going to get back into the pocket, it certainly does. All right. There's a double for Bennett on the right lane. Now we have Phil Macchiato. Tell, tell, tell the Kraken that they're on Tina. This is Phil. <laughs> and Phil does get all 10 down. There you go, Lily. 
Yeah, both macchiatos right now definitely making their, their pops proud. Yeah, they, they sound like a Dunkin' Donuts order my wife would make. <laughs> oh, man, shout out to Dunkin'. Not you know, macchiato, it's macchietto. Ma macchietto. It's long in Italian. Hey, yo. Long in Italian hey, right yeah, hey, yo. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Pierce Phil lining up. And Pierce gets the seven down again this time for a nice little double. And uh, after those two uh, taps by Bennett and Field, all strikes other than that. Mm hmm Indeed. Uh, everybody. Because of that, we have a 23-pin lead for the Long Island Legends. Mm. Yes. And this is where every frame does count across across all three pairs. But, you know, when you're bowling scratch, you're put there for a reason. You have to understand the assignment. All right, looking for the opening four-bagger here. And gets it. Splits the 8-9. Nice oh. strike by Mr. Collins. Mm. Definitely looking, looking sure and true, getting right through the pocket right there. And road to perfection looking good. I mean, we're still early. We're only one third of the way there. Tony up on the right lane. Looks like he doesn't like it that much. And leaves the 3-6-10. Yeah, definitely missed it inside. He got down and he was begging. And begging for the push. Yeah, he yeah. push. It didn't push, but it, it, it definitely avoided a split. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he, he did leave the similar shot in the first frame, mm -hmm. but this time he gets, you know, no split. Much better than a five count. Yes. <laughs> Especially on a double. All right. All right, Macchiato up. Oh, he needs to the hook. Oh, but it does. Bennett up on the left lane. Gets it out. Guys to come back. Oh! Ooh, back trip. That was a uh, late trip of the 10-pin. A little late trip. It looks like Steve played a little video game, a little Street Fighter back in the day, maybe. <laughs> Now up on the left lane, Pierce Field. And that ball just took off. And that is the weirdest 4-9 you'll ever see. Yes. Now, question about that. Was he better off with the three standing up? Um, you're on a double, so that's a whole extra extra pin there. So it's two pins. Mm -hmm. um, and the spares are... They're tough either way, I think. I definitely think the, the three, four, nine, though a rare leave, is more makeable than just a four, nine. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. He's gonna get, probably give a go run for it. Meanwhile, we did see a strike on the right lane by Chris Vietri of Release Kraken. Let's see if Pierce can make this four, nine spit. Gets the ball to turn and oh. makes it. You know, not a tough spare for Pierce. No, no, no. I've that, seen Pierce that in the lane. That separates the 235 bowlers from the 245 bowlers, and he's like a 245 bowler, so he knows what he's doing. So that, and 235, you speak about yourself, ain't you? No, I'm only 230. Oh, sorry, only 230. <laughs> only 230. Meanwhile, Mac Phil with a strike on the right lane to get a double up there. Yeah, Phil filling, the, filling that fourth frame up pretty nice. I don't and know if you even meant to go for the pun there, but you did. Yeah, nope, nope, that's why I didn't say box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are through four here, and we have the Legends with a 44-pin lead. We have Greg Collins on Who the that? right lane. Who that? I don't know if that means he's a Saints fan, I think. Is that the Saints? They do, or they, they, are they Houdet? I believe they're Houdet. All right, I have no idea. Well, we're going to see who he is. Yeah, let's we'll see if he can get that front five out here. Gets the ball out, gets it back, but leaves a weak 10 pin. Mm. Weak 10, that's all right. Good start, potential 279 finish. Assuming that he picks up, and I'm assuming he will pick up his 10 pin. We'll see here. Now on the left lane, we got Tony. This time, it looks like missed left again, and unfortunately, another five count. Mm, 25 not being the kindest lady to him right now. Well, converse the 10 pin, a little bit of footing issues there. Yep. Might, get, might be a little sticky up there. We don't know. We'll see. 
I don't, hopefully that doesn't get into his head for for the next shots in the next frames coming up. All right, let's see if uh, Tony can convert this split now. He misses the first frame. There's a second try at it. It is makeable. Let's see, makeable yet missable. Will he make it? And nope, does not the pin over two d four seven. And we have another open frame for Tony Macchietto. Yeah, it looks like the back ends are biting a little bit. Well, at least for Tony. Yeah. Well, here's Bennett on the right lane looking for a four bagger and gets it. Yeah, great shot by Steve Bennett. Popular misconception about uh, Steve is that he may be all over the place, but I've been in lanes with him as well. Definitely knows what he's doing with it. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, he, his, his style definitely looks like he's just heaving out there, but he is deadly accurate. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes they accuse him of having BS carry. Yeah. No comment. What up, what up, Miguel? <laughs> He's in another country right now. I don't think he's watching. I don't know if caffeine is available in Peru. But there is a strike for Mr. Fields getting back on after that 4 9 lead, yeah. but converged in the last frame. Yeah. And the story right now for Long Island Legends uh, all five frames are clean. Yes. So I know release the Krakens may want to release some mojo over to their side and maybe hope that they can blink at least one time to give them a better chance of taking game one. Yeah. Let's see if Chris can convert this 10 pin and it's out and does so. And pin abuse is in full effect here <laughs> in AMF Wanta. And now we got Phil Macchietto up on the left side. I think I think Macchiato's gonna throw a, a good ball. Oh, it looked like it's gonna overhook a little bit, but it just didn't and nope, it hit nope. perfectly. Yep, yep. My money's on Macchiato. <laughs> Guaranteed. Bet. Well, here you got another one on the right side now. This one's Tony, as he gets ready to roll six frame, trying to avoid leaving some combination three six ten here. And this time he gets it out. Oh, but this time the nine pin stands. That hurt. Yeah. Yeah, he liked it off his hand. He saw it. He's like, finally got it out. But came back a little too hard for a nine pin. Here we got Collins on the left lane. And just, just like his last shot, a weak ten pin. Yeah. That means there might be a little bit of carry down coming down that early on. Yeah, yeah. Um, one thing you see about all, all bowlers, you know, moving inside, playing what we like to call that wet to dry ratio. So oil's going to get spread a little early between these frames as well as practice. Yeah. All right, Tony's going to convert that nine pin. Trying to get back on track here. That's three straight frames without a strike. Yeah, they say, you know, hit the pocket, hope for the carry. Unfortunately, did not carry for Tony. But uh, who that? Looking to convert that, his that, 10 That'd pin. be Ray Collins. That who that be? As he goes to make this second 10 pin in a row and converts it. Yeah, question mark on the back of the jersey. No question on the spare. Legends getting a nice lead. Yeah. And now we have the uh, the current hot hand on the pair. Bet Steve Bennett with the front with four in a row here. Not front four, but four in a row out of the first five frames. Well, first, we're going to see Chris on the right lane here. A little footy issue there. But Ooh, rolls mercy, ten, mercy. Rolls the 10 pin to save the frame. Marvin Gay carry. Mercy, mercy, me. And it was a merciful carry. All right, now we got Bennett with four in a row here, looking for the five bagger. Gets it out right where he wants it, but a little too fast, it seems, as he leaves himself. The two, four, five, eight, also known as the bucket. Hey, you hungry? No. Nah. I just had, I, I, I'm good for now. There's a whole bucket up there for you, man. Go ahead, grab one. Eh. No biscuit, though. No. Nah. Oh. All right, here we see Phil on the right lane. He now has a four bagger. Yes. Phil is definitely feeling it right now. And he's, well, he's trying to keep the Kraken alive. He wants to release the Kraken. Hopefully his other teammates could definitely join the party. 
makeable yet missable bucket over here on lane 25. Yeah, I would say it's about usually about 80, 85 percent for uh, most good bowlers. Feel the mice sheet. It's not that good. But Bennett has no problem with it. All over that bucket. Picks it up, plus the crumbs as well. He must have been hungry. He had the entire bucket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bucket definitely didn't do him greasy there. All right, now we got Pierce going up on the left lane, lane 25. And flushes it. Yeah, he walked that one out. That one felt good off the hand, looked good off the hand, and the result was even better. Collins now on the right lane, trying to get the had two back-to-back -back 10 pins, but this time he gets it out. Yeah, a lot more firm on that release. He wanted to make sure that the 10 bolt, that the 10 pin definitely fell. He did not feel like seeing it. Yeah. And now Tony on the left lane, trying to get things back in order for himself. Looks like he moved a little left there, but unfortunately leaves yet another split. Yeah, it seems to be coming around it a little early. You know, he, he's moving inside more on that lane, but that lane just keeps giving him too much bite. He may have to just maybe alter his hand position a little bit, or maybe even go with something a little more calmer to get to get the pocket back. Here's Bennett. Bennett gets them a little loft compared to his other shots, and that allowed the ball to hook over and finish and get the strike. Oh well, well, that ball by Steve Bennett definitely finished. And let's see right now if we can get a spare conversion. I know he would like to just get the wood, but. He may need something to get his morale back up and oh. almost, but didn't make it. Not quite. Not quite. Well, the balance of the mental game is definitely tipping in the, in the favor of the Long Island Legends, especially with every bad frame that, that Tony experiences. Yeah. Well, Pierce now up on the right lane for the Legends. And crush the pocket yet again. He now has three in a row. Yeah, all the shots are looking more relaxed and more comfortable that each Long Island legend throws. You know, and that's the mental edge. Once they're giving you an opportunity to run away with it, you start running. Yep. You know, we got a double here for Chris on the left lane for the Kraken. As the strike here, I mean, if we get a strike here from Phil, they're only down 60. And you say, wow, 60 is still a lot. But it's only 60, and you can, it's not over until it's over. It's not three frames to go. Oh, yeah, 60 can turn to 20. 60 can turn to 40 real quick, can turn to 30 real quick. Um, what I would do, especially once I get an opportunity to go on that other lane, being the, being the left lane, 25, I would say I slow the pace down, take the dead wood out, get a re-rack, just get my composure back. All right, here's Phil on the left, leaves himself the 10 pin there. Mm -hmm. And although they are brothers, very different releases. You know, Phil, a lot more up the boards, more relaxed release. Yep. Uh, a Tony, lot, yeah. hooking the lane. Yes. And he's got the whole lane in his hand. He just has to play his hand the right way. See a 10 pin conversion here. And we might need to clear out Deadwood now, so. Well, there's no getting around that. Uh, nah, we gotta clear that one out. Definitely gotta clear it out. Or a whole lot of lob. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see on the right lane, we see Tony trying to get back on track, and oh, uh, no. Mm. Goes through the three pin, leaves himself another five count. Yeah, he definitely went to a, a calmer surface. Yeah. So now is an angle change. Either that, or from what I've seen, his original ball that he was using, not really experiencing that much trouble on lane 26. Lane 25, he may need to make that change. Yeah. He may need to go one for one, meaning one ball for one lane, one for the other. 
Definitely need to figure something out because we've got, still got two more games after this. You got to hope to figure it out and try to solve something for the last two. Well, being that you're shooting bad, and I'm pretty sure you've had a moment or two where oh, yeah. your game hasn't been the best. Do you use this now just to go through the arsenal and get ready for games yeah. two and three? At this point, that's what I would do. You see, we get three out of five there. We'll see if we can get this. Uh, you know, then would clear it out here. Yeah. So while they're taking the time to clear that out, uh, let's talk about. Um, the morale and the mental of the other pairs being handicapped pair one and two. You're watching this happen. You know you're shooting your best game and trying to do your best. And yeah. you see one of your um, scratch bowlers are struggling. Overall, wood comes into play. It's not just the wood on your pair. Yes. It's for all three pairs. What are, you, what are you thinking at this point? So I think every pair usually they're trying to think of, like, how can I help my pair win? Because that helps the overall team in, in the long run. I'm not too worried about if one bowl is covering down there. If they are, I don't know. Up my game up, win my pair, we'd be good to go. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we do see Chris with a strike. So he now has three in a row for the Kraken here. Yeah, even though for um, for Tony is going to be a potential uh, 172 finish, you want to make it a quality 172. Yeah. Finish on a high note and maybe um, show a little bit of uh, future fortunes, hopefully, by mm -hmm. finishing strong. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go back up on the left lane here as we have the Deadwood cleared out. Ray will be looking to get a double here and keep his 268 pace alive. Yeah, staying alive is definitely important. And first game is definitely looking like it's in Long Island Legends' favor. At least on the scratch side, yes. At least on the scratch side. We will provide updates for the other two lanes when we get to them. But it looks like the handicap is not in quite yet, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. As we do see a strike here and a double from Ray Collins. All right, here is Chris on the left lane leaving a four pin. Oh, that's not Chris, that was Phil. <laughs> on the left lane, we got Bennett. And he gets a mixer to have him all fall. He is on a uh, 266 pace himself. Yeah, this is. Um, so every bowler on Legends on a 260 pace right now. Yeah. If they, if they go, not, not pace, but if they go sheet, they can all go in the 260 ish, something like that. Mm hmm. And, and kind of what we alluded to before uh, Long Island Legends, a, a stack team in terms of having people who can, who can put numbers up. Yeah. Oh, they can put a lot of numbers up, this, these guys, as we see a, the spare made by Phil. All Pierce Phil taking his time, making sure that everything is good before he steps on the line. Yep, Pierce has three in a row here, trying to get that four-bagger and pretty much seal the deal for their team here now at this point after the other open frame by Tony. And Pierce gets it out and gets the mixer seven to fall. Yeah, Pierce is one of those guys, um, like a couple other guys on Long Island Legends, but he can throw it well on anything, on any pattern that's on the way for the most part. When you look at Pierce, I want to say that, so that he's like five foot nine, five foot ten maybe, and probably like 130 pounds soaking wet. And he can get that much action on the ball. He, he, he throws it well he he throws it like he weighs the same amount as his average yes <laughs> let's see if Tony's gonna stay yes he's gonna stay with the calmer surface I believe is that an OG venom shot I mean that's what he do last frame when he, when he went through the three pin trying to move right off of this and see if he can get it to read and he does get it to read but again he leaves a nine pin yeah oh well 25 is not the best number for him. Every every shot, well, most shots on lane 25 have really been just sucking the life out of yeah. him. Meanwhile, Collins, the only bugaboo he's had is the 10 pin. Has three 10 pins and the rest of strikes for Mr. Has not Mr. Mr. Ray Collins. No, has not. He has not. That's nine pocket shots, but three 10 pins. Basically working on no tap tray. 
<laughs> and definitely converse to spare. Did not want to be selfish and try to do an area check because every frame counts. Yes. And the overall wood will be a major part of this. Again, that's a full 10 points for overall wood. Wood is good. Collins makes the spare. Hello, Whitney on the rocks, as you can see on the back of his jersey. Yep, that's Chris Vietri. As he gets the ball, looks like we got a little left there, and he pays the price of the church. Mm. It is Sunday. I was going to say, it is Sunday. Very good. That was definitely an unholy leave. He did not want to leave that. And that's going to hurt, especially being that he was on three in a row prior to that. Yeah. Meanwhile, another high shot by Bennett, mm -hmm. but he trips everything but the four. Yep. So not the end of the world. Yep. So no nine, but he does leave the four. Let's see if he's going to rocket it up there and try to. Oh, wait a minute. Go for it. Oh. Oh. Oh, almost a Greek church conversion here live on Cafe TV. But the four pin stands. Yeah, you could, you could definitely see the expressions on release the Kraken's face for this first game. And with every with every frustrate, frustrated look that they have, they're making Long Island Legends really calm, really relaxed. Yeah. Phil throws it, misses left, and leaves up a 6 10. Yeah, on the scratch pair, this is a case of three on three turning into six on three because now they're not only bowling against the legends, but they're bowling against their own minds yeah. as well. Well, Pierce stepping up, trying to make it a 100 pin lead for the legends. Over a 100 pin lead at this point. Mm. On this pair alone. Yes. Oh, the 10 pin does not go down. Yeah, Wi Fi wasn't good on that. Message was not received for the 10 pin. Got to send another text to it, see if it, see if it replies. And oh, flags the 610 does, Phil. Yeah, that's where, that's where it all gets down to the mental part of it. Yeah. You got to sometimes you got to. Put yourself on the island and go to work yourself, and hopefully other people join you. Back you always ball. see a little backup ball action for Pierce to make the ten pin. Yeah, versatility on display there by Pierce Field. Yeah, and the score says that Legends are up by 112, but because of the open frames, it's much more than that. Mm. And open frames, things that you do not want to hear about when you have your scratch pair out there. Oh yeah. Staying with the OG Venom shock, it would look. I like the read he had off it last time. That's what looks like a much better ball at the hand. And there's a strike. And hopefully, you can figure it out for the next two games. They're, they are definitely going to need it. Sometimes you can't aggressively go for the strike. You know, once you find the pocket, then all your adjustments become easier, especially once you settle down. Well, here we have Collins goes a little left. Out of state there. <laughs> but six pin stands. There you go. Took a little trip to Jersey here in Long Island. All right, here's Tony trying to see things again and seven pin stands. And I'm, and I'm reading the back of Tony's jersey. He needs to find that dog in him. Yeah. Spare main for Collins on the left. And they can throw a strike here with 236. Mm. The crazy thing about that 236 on their pair, on, on their on their scratch side of things, that could be their low game. It could be. You gotta <laughs> see what happens with the other two. You know, it's not a game when you know your opponents. You know, have a 236 potentially being the low for their for their first game. 
Area check. Yeah, that was definitely uh, see what this ball's going to do. Shot for uh, for Tony. As Phil, I'm sorry, as Collins on the left lane, does the strike, 236. Something about the last name Collins and throwing strikes. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Hall of Famer, UBA Hall of Famer, Quentin Collins. Mm -hmm. Cufus. Yeah. All right. So 236 for Ray and uh, 151 for Tony. Mm. Chris now up on the right lane, trying to end this game on a good note to try to go for the next two, but another four pin here. Yeah, 151, he may want to take a shot of that after that first game, yeah. maybe a couple. Steve Bennett with a potential 245 finish. Yep, if he goes out. Ten pin gets drop kicked. Oh my goodness! A, a basement drop kick to the kneecaps. Yes. The patella tendons <laughs> of the ten pin. <laughs> Converse right. that spear. Four pin conversion. We strike here for a two twelve. None of the Long Island Legends have had to make any kind of drastic change. And it seems that, well, they're going to have to make some changes, mostly being Tony, when it, going into the next game. And it's going into game two, doesn't really have a rhythm yet or a feel. Yeah. That can, that, that can, that can hurt if he doesn't get on the ball, especially when you're the leadoff bowler. All right, I'm looking at the other pairs, and uh, the handicaps still aren't in yet. But it looks like that the Legends are going to win the handicap one, and the Kraken will win handicap two. Okay. I mean, unless one team's getting a ton of handicap the other way around, which I doubt. Mm. Yeah. So definitely a ray of light. Really, the Kraken yeah, not going to get three. swept. Yeah. Handicap two, I should say. I know right now they're wishing there was a handicap three, maybe to <laughs> offset what's happening on this pair alone, and for it looks like. Uh, the pair next to them. As Ben looks to finish off his 245 game and does so. And 245. So right now, what it looks like could be the um, second highest because we have well, a 247. We'll yeah. Also, we got to say one thing about where we are. This, uh, we are in uh, AMF Wonton Lanes, Wonton, New York, middle of Long Island. This house is not known for being as easy as some other houses out here on the island. Well, the one thing about the 10 pins here, when it, they often change their pins, and when you don't break pins in, you have to really have a lot of angle, a lot of power, just yes. like you saw on that shot. That, that's a lot of angle, a lot of power. Yes. The 230-pounder himself, <laughs> Pierce Field, hits just like a heavyweight. And like I said, most of the times you can do it on any pattern. Oh yeah. And I've seen it. Let's see what we see here. Yeah, Phil's trying to find out how strong here, get ready for the next game as well. Yeah. He can get another strike for a 223. He didn't ball bad, just had one blemish missing that 610 last frame. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was just basically uh not a brain fart, but kind of just mental exhaustion. Yeah, and there's another strike for Pierce. So 236, 245, and possibly 247. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good scores. Yeah, PMFF, Pierce MF yeah. Field. AKA Grumpy. What are you talking about? He's all smiles. Look at yeah. him. Real student of the game is Pierce. Not only knows how to how to throw a ball. Like drill a ball, he can tell you a lot about the game, and he can show you what he better than he can tell you. Oh yeah, and there's a uh, eight count for Philly for the 221. Mm -hmm. So 583 for release the crack and scratch pair, and we will see how the scratch pair for Lionel Legends finish as Pierce goes for this last shot for 247. And. And gets the 10 pin to fall eight. So a little 710, a little 710 uh, sneaky there, but mm. gets that. So 728 to 583, a win of 145 pins. Mm. A big, big jump out 
lead start for Long Island Legends. Yeah, definitely. And well, that, that was scratched. That was scratched. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to handicap pair number two. Sorry. Mm -hmm. and, and right now we're going to take a look over at handicap pair number one and see what's going on over here. So, Kenny, what was the story um, over here with uh, Handicap Pair 1, I uh, believe? Handicap Pair Legends won this one also. Yeah. Not sure about how much, again, because, again, the uh, handicaps are not in on the score sheet. Mm -hmm. But without Handicap, it was up by about 130 or so. Mm -hmm. I think that Kraken will get a few more pins, but it's not enough to give him the win. Mm -hmm. So, Legends with the lead here in this pair as well. And representing Release the Kraken up now is Anthony Licardio. And Lucardio starts off with a strike on the left. You see it on his jersey name. That is very original because his name is Rob Dunning. <laughs> and that ball went very high, but leaves a 7-10. High drama. So um, right now, that's the kind of that's the kind of leave that I know Krakens would like to see, especially if they want to make up for anything that was lost in game one. Yeah. Hoping for a potential paradigm shift. They would like things to shift in their favor. I definitely see this going back and forth. Uh, both both right. are here to play. Yeah, let's see if we got a conversion here. And um, well, that was a good strike shot. You ever watch football on a Sunday? The kick is good. Oh, yeah, it's very good. All right, here on the right lane, we have Julian Quezada. Oh, I almost thought you said Faison. <laughs> Quezada. Oh, Quezada. JQ, I mean, that's also what his name is, JQ. That's right. He's up here on the right lane for release the Kraken. Let's see if Q can also throw strikes. Frame one, game two, going up with that gem. And gets seven to fall late. Here on the left lane for Lauren Legends, we have Kieran Carney. Let's, let's see what we can do up here. Oh. Making sure the grip is right, making sure the shoes are right. Yep. Let's see if the shot is right. Yeah, Tony! That's the Tony, I know. Well, from the sound of it, it seems that Tony's got back into it. Let's see what's happening here on lane 27. Here he gets it out and gets, gets them all. Mm. Now on the left lane for release of Kraken, we have James Lizzo. From the left side, and leaves himself the three and the five. That's right. Thirty-five or fifty-three, all about perception. Words of encouragement <laughs> on, on, on the Macchiato uh, end of things in the background. Now on the left lane, we have Rich Lee for Long Island Legends. And leaves with some the four pin here. Yeah, Buddy Lee up there leaving leaving a, a buddy that he didn't want to see. <laughs> that being the four pin. Ooh. All right. See if James can get this spare. Oh, chops the three right off the five clean. Oh my goodness, whole lot of chopping going on. Man. A lot of lumberjack action. Well, it's definitely, it's definitely um, got to be a relief when you see someone chop a spare. It makes your spares a lot easier to make. Yep, yep. But Lee makes his spare. You know, you want to get as many X's as you can and slashes, and you want to avoid dashes. Yes. So no revs on the back of the jersey. Yeah, but it looks like there's a lot more revs than you do, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm calling the match? There you and go. Because <laughs> you're in division upstate. Anywho, <laughs> Anthony Licardio here for the release of Kraken. Gets the ball out, gets the ball in, and gets the ball down. I mean, from the revs that he does have, it seems like they're doing, a, they're doing something up there. The oh, yeah. Here you see Dunning on the right lane. Gets the ball high and leaves himself to 4-6. So back-to-back -back splits for Rob Dunning here. 
Well, that's why they say it's never over until it's over. And it, well, it definitely is not over. Oh, no, it's still early right now. Well, last time he left a, a split, being the 7-10, it was a field goal. Yeah. I think he wants to definitely hit At least one, one of the right. goal posts. Yes. At least goal post is right. okay here in Bowling. <laughs> well, first we're going to see uh, JQ here on the left side. Much better ball than the first one. Ball leaves the 10 pin. Mm, yeah, better ball, not a better result. One thing about using a dull surface, especially when it's uh, dull, normally out the box, whether you shine it up or not, that early hook, early stop action. Yeah, meanwhile, we do see Dunning gets a goal post. The six goes down. Unfortunately, two open frames to start for Rob, not where he wants to be. Yeah. I know he wants to be on the, on the on the good side of things and up and unfortunately we're gonna have to take that off because uh, it touched the pin in the gutter. Yeah. So for those who are watching, wondering what happened, uh, attempting the ten pin touches the pin or the dead wood that's in the gutter, so that counts as a miss, not a make, and. That stops right, so I was what was the, uh, looking the, to the be a, for a one clean two. start. So the handicap well, for at least cracking the 72 pins mm -hmm. for Lauren Legends it is 17 pins. Yep. So there is a uh, seven, six, 55 pins that Kraken are getting from the Lauren Legends per game. Okay. So that means the Lauren Legends won the first game by about 60 pins. Mm -hmm. Not by 130 that looks like on the screen. Yeah. Only about 50 or 60. Well, uh, what it looks like to me here, and I don't agree with this. One of your one of your bowlers just uh, made contact with the pin that was in the gutter. Instead of shooting the next shot, why not get the pin out the gutter? Yeah. Well, now we see that a split was left by by James here, and now we got Rich on the right lane. After Kieran did get a double, mm. Rich now trying to get back on track and flushes all ten down. Yeah. Send back right there uh, as James gets the wood. The yeah, two pins. The wood. wood is good. Only wood that was not good and is not good is that pin that is in the gutter. Yeah, it already cost you a spare. Now, Kraken still has, de they definitely have a fighting chance, but you got to. Fight with your head, not only your heart, and not only your skill. Yeah. It looks like the pin will stay there as Rob steps up in the third frame, looking to get off the stride of the first two splits here. And it looks like a ball change, but the ball is not finished and leaves himself the bucket. Bucket again. Yeah, a second order, second order of the day. That ball got up the lanes very fast and it did not bite at any time. Yeah, the first two shots, again, went super high. So they definitely made a ball change, but mm -hmm. this ball did not finish at all. So he has to make an adjustment for that. Meanwhile, ooh, ooh listen, they all went down. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, yeah they all fell down. Anthony, Anthony will 100% take that shot every day of the week. Yeah, no gives these backsies out here, man. <laughs> See Rob converts the bucket and does so. Yeah, yeah, that ball, that ball almost deflected a little more than what than what he would have liked to, or I'm pretty sure that he expected. Well, lane 28, they got 10 pins. Lane 27, they got 11. <laughs> All right. Well, Julian now going up. And gets the ball to fall. Yeah, great shot. He should be on uh, three. He should be on three clean frames. 
still has a chance for a very nice finish. Uh, hopefully that one frame, being the second frame, does not come back to bite them in the end. All right, looks like we are getting the pin out of the gutter here real quick. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to our special guest, Deadwood in the gutter. He might be back. Hey, you know, he got some screen time. <laughs> I think he also was going to pin out of the 20, lane 25 hats also, so he's going to go over there. Yeah. And as we watch um, the amazing balance and the acrobatic skill. I can't do that. The, 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 the agile uh, worker here at Wonton Lane. Uh, we want to see if you guys, make sure you guys skip on over um, to next week when we do have Mega Bowl. Mega yeah. Bowl's next week? Mega Bowl, well, not next week. Two it's weeks. It's in two weeks. Okay. Hey, look at me, look at me, subtracting. <laughs> All right, so we're back in action and we see the 10 pin left by James here for at least Kraken as we have Kieran up on the left lane, has the first two strikes for the Long Island Legends, mm -hmm. trying to make it a three in a row and does so. Yes, yes. Uh, a lot of revs there, a lot of, a lot of power. Uh, it's ball getting down smooth, there. Very smooth, very consistent. Very smooth, smooth operators. Yeah, every frame definitely needs to count here. I know he wants to make sure he covers that seven pin. And he looks to be a pro shop guy. Let's, let's, let's see if we can see a little pro example of how to cover and convert your spares. Yeah. Let's see if he's a pro shop guy and, and that he owns one or hangs out in one. Uh, you said it, not me. <laughs> well, if he makes it, he, he runs one, obviously, right? Yeah, okay. there you go. If he missed that, I he hangs out in one. <laughs> now we have Richley here for the Legends. Looking to continue off the strike he drew last frame. But Whoa. a little high in the 4-9. Buddy, buddy. Now, we already saw the 4-9 made earlier today by uh, Pierce on the scratch bear. Let's see if Rich can do what his teammate did. Yeah, let's see if that's a Long Island Legends trend, uh, making the hard stuff. Even though we're not watching it, the story right now over on um, Scratch Bear is that Tony, beat, he just said it himself before he beat, I did. He, he beat his first game. He beat already. his first game. I believe he beat your first game in like what? In, uh, in, yeah, yeah. In, in, well, in five, he had one for yeah. game one. He's had 150 Listen, drew, Sometimes uh, you got to get right game some two. more practice. That's all I needed. And Rich Lee does oh! make the 4-9. That's two. That's a legend trend. That is a legend trend. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they must be Chiefs. They don't like 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the handicap is now in, <coughs> not for total one, but for game one at least. And we can see that with the handicap in, that legends are down 44. And Dunning gets on to the strike trade finally. Yeah, he definitely stayed with the same piece, but I saw he made a little adjustment, maybe slowed his yeah. feet down. Yeah, he, he saw what the, this new ball did last frame, made the adjustment, fixed it out. Meanwhile, we now have an opening four bagger for Anthony Licardio here for at least cracking. Yeah, what those revs do. What revs? He has no revs. Hey, sir, that's a lot of revs you got there, sir. Now, <laughs> 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 uh, now, now it seems to be a shift in the morale of release the Krakens. Uh, Justin Conley said they need to get back to what they do and just attack, attack, attack. A lot of a lot of youth on this team. Yes. You know, so there's, there's always going to be some jitters, and there's experience plays plays a key role. And similar to boxing. Yeah. Sometimes you can't always throw haymakers. You got a lot of jab. Jabs out the temp in there. Yep. There's a strike there for Julian. Coach Macchietto out here, man. Make it, girl. All right, here we go. Kiernan up on the right lane trying to get four banger going. And looks like it was all inside, but he carried. Oh, definitely. That's that OG Venom shot. Yeah. Benchmark piece for a reason. Here is the pro shop guy, James. P S G. Coming in from the left. And gets the eight to fall at least, mm -hmm. but leaves a six pin off that high shot. Yeah. yeah, very high, but merciful. 
nine count, avoiding anything else. Let's see what Buddy can do. Buddy showed us how to make the four nine. Let's see yep. if he can make sure that's right. He doesn't like it. And yeah, there's something to watch out here. Well, we can get another um, tough split conversion con tutorial. Yeah. Legend's still um, putting on a clinic on how to pick up spares. Pro Shop got all over the six pin. And over here we have the one, two, four, ten. Four, ten. Supposed to jump in there. What, you forgot to count? No, you're supposed to jump oh, in. Oh, you need me to help you. Yeah, you know, a little Styles of Jake, you know, <laughs> Jada Kiss and Styles action there. All right, looks like they're going to try to make it. And oh, wraps around the 10. Yeah, yeah. Not a good reach around there. Oh, for, my God. For, for, for Buddy Lee. Don't fire me. Well, Tony Macchiato on the scratch pair is going from six opens to six in a row. <laughs> hey, where was that smile game one, man? Look at that, man. Right. Look. <laughs> <laughs> He's speechless. <laughs> and no reps. Anthony oh, loses the, the streak in his arm, loses something three six, <laughs> through the nose. Yeah, I shouldn't have questioned the revs. But one thing there's definitely not a question about is that he's definitely being uh, a, mo a model leadoff guy right now for his team. Yep. And here's Rob as he now has a double to go along yep. for Legends. Yep. Yeah, yeah no truer words uh, spoken. Uh, Coach Dad Macchiato right now saying down, not out, and they're throwing punches and they're fighting back. Yep. I said before, I said this team was designed to make an impact, and you're seeing exactly why. Yes. They're fighters. Here's Kiernan up, trying to continue to the hot streak. Oh, but leaves himself to 2 4 8 10. Yes, yes. 2 4 eight, 10. A very fun leave to attempt to pick yes. up. Yes, because you get to hook the ball. Yes. And, fun fact about that square conversion, you have to basically almost miss it to make it. Yes. You're going to get like all six, three, or zero. So what do you say? Hero ball? Go um, for it all? He's going to go for it. You know that. Um, I think he's going to get three. But I think he's going to get like the, I want to say he's going to get the two, four, ten, and leave the eight pin up. What would Rambler do? I would hook the entire lane. What would be what I would do? I would, I would, I would, I would uh, commentate on that seven pin left there by JQ. And here's the spear conversion, and he gets the two. Yeah, that's, that's why they call it um, risk or reward. Yeah. And sometimes you risk it all and you don't get rewarded. Hey. Oh, we got front seven over on the scratch pad. Hey. Way to stretch yourself, <laughs> stretch yourself in seven frames. <laughs> Let's see if JQ can right now uh, strike right now. Well, not strike, but still get ten. Nine plus one, let's see. Yeah. Doesn't hurt it though. Let's see if Buddy Lee can get back on to it after the last two frames with Iffy. Looks like a ball change made and gets all 10 down. Oh yeah, definitely. That definitely like IQ ball Ruby that went down late yes. that time. Yeah. So we got a whole lot of expensive stuff. We got gems, we got rubies. <laughs> It sounds like they're releasing Krakens over here. Come on, Jim. But the Pro Shop guy, unfortunately, mm. was released to a split. Mm. Four, seven, ten. Well, it is makeable, though. Well, he needs to release any knots in his stomach and really settle into his shots. Uh, even though you're the anchor, you don't want to be the anchor that brings down the ship. Yep. Uh, I think maybe a slight move with his feet to the right. There's a. You know, there's that, that, that popular little, misconception. Give me a little angle. Oh, the lefties don't move right? <laughs> the lefties usually don't move. <laughs> what you gonna do, girl? Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. There you go. Hey, I see you bought the pom poms for a reason. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Pro Shop got. Maybe. Oh. oh. 
All right, so after five, we have a 69 pin lead. Nice. For release the Kraken here on Handicap One. Mm. A cosmic shift over here on the scratch pair, we'll talk oh, about yeah. a little, in a little bit. They may, they may make up for all those pins they lost. In one game. In one game. Revolution. And he gets all 10 down. Yeah, the revolution right now was televised. Yes. And there's Dunning. Oh, leaves a 10 pin. Yeah, the 10 pin right there looked like it has on a release of Kraken's jersey. He's definitely standing up. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a lot going on. Yes. On, on all three pairs right now. And the story, the, the story is definitely changing. Oh, yeah. In a legendary way, dare I say. Maybe, maybe not, but there's a win. Mm -hmm. Still one more game to go for this. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's tough fighting Krakens in deep waters. Yes. Let's see if JQ can keep it going and does so. Bets back on the strike train. Every one frame off. That's right. That was a gem of a strike. Yes. <laughs> Scratch pair, um, Tony Macchietto with the 151 start yeah. is now on front eight. <laughs> if he finishes with that number, could be singing Return of the Mac. Macchietto, that is. Oh, Pro Shop guy definitely takes that slight move. And oh, this was self the eight pin. Yeah, so good. So that slight move definitely got him back into the pocket. Yep. He can take another half a board move right. Dunning converts the 10 pin. So what seems to be happening right now is uh, uh, when we talk about that transition game. Yeah, the game two is a transition game, and it's transitioning in the Kraken's favor on all three pairs, looks like. But especially here on Handicap 1, as they're up 89 pins right now. Mm -hmm. But we still have two balls to go for Legends here. We have uh, Kieran, Kiernan going, Blonde Jesus, as his jersey says, going here. He split last frame, but gets the ball down this frame. Gets oh, back yeah, on it. handles that. And you, you being a UBA OG, and you've been bowling for for a good amount of time now. Yeah. You already know it's all about um, the marathon aspect of it, and knowing that it's not just one game, it's not one and done. No, no, There's no. a whole transition that happens on the yep. lanes, especially when you're a righty. Now we have Rich Lee on the right lane trying to get a double here, which will be the only double in the sixth frame here. Oh, comes up very high. Well, up to four six again. No, he didn't four six last time. Four nine. Yeah, but four, from six double to trouble. From double to a lot of trouble. We got a lot of new potential jersey names happening over here. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yep. We're going to take a little look over at handicap pair number two right now. And let's see what's happening over handicap pair two. Let's see what the story is. All right. So we're in the 10th frame, and it's very close here as our teams are separated by, well, it looks like Kraken just took a strike and a double to take a 40 pin lead here. As um, Cotter converts to spare. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, very close game here. As Connolly is on a uh, a lot bagger. Yes, a lot bagger. Uh, seven, looks like. Mm -hmm. If my math is correct. There you go. Uh, well, if it's not, then your last name's going to be Steiner instead of Lake. <laughs> Oh, four pin stands. Yeah, very and, good run by yeah, Justin Connor. Cracking with a, a 40 pin, 45 or so pin lead here, 46 maybe. We'll see. Mm 
A 200. A 200 there for uh, Anthony Cotter. Mm -hmm. As we're going to see a 247 here for Justin Connolly. Yeah, great game. Only one blemish, and that being the second frame, yeah. but 247 definitely a great finish for Justin Connolly. All right, we got Jay Lipson on the right and Rob Velez on the left here. Both on string, so this is going to be very big shots here. Yeah, 246 potential finish for Jay Lips in there. Yeah, we go we can go out for a, a 203 over on uh, Rob's side, but Jay stepping up here is a huge shot for the Legends if they want to try to have a chance here and gets all 10 down. All 10 back. Let's see now if um, Velez here on the left, yep. only 29. Your namesake. Hot garbage. Yeah. Except for when you bowl me. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, no, that does not look good. He looks like in trouble here. And leaves himself the 3-6. Uh, well, he definitely didn't want to channel his his jersey's energy there. No, not there. But that looked like he had some, some mechanical issues there. Unfortunately, the wrong time. But Jay can give their team life here if he doubles here. All right, they still need a little more help, but... It gives him a chance, you know? It definitely gives him a chance. Hopefully he wants to have a, a perfect finish to a not so perfect start. Yeah. Jay gets it out, comes back, and gets all 10 down here. All 10 down. And let's see if we get a spare conversion. Yes. A nice spare conversion there by Rob. <laughs> Velez taking his time, getting settled, looking to finish with a strike, which would give him a 181 finish. Jay Lipson looking to finish the back six that he's working on yep. for, for a 246. All right, Velez up first. Trying to get all 10 pins for the wood, but unfortunately only gets six. Mm. So 177. Yeah. That six might come into play. You never know. When it comes down to the, to the final bowlers here. Yeah, Jay steps up here in the last <laughs> shot. And Jay gets eight. We're 244 here. Mm -hmm. So we're a 24 pin difference here. But we got a spare for Legends and a strike for Kraken. So Kraken could ice this game with any mark here. Yeah. This is definitely a great example of a whole lot of fight being shown by release to Krakens. Oh, yeah. Uh, across the board. So we got Casey. Here on the left lane for release cracking here. A strike here will end it for the handicap two. Yeah, let's see what Rain Man can do. Can he make it rain? Yeah, and he does so. Yes. Way to go, fish feet. And Brian Radigan with a split. So that Ooh. pretty much sums up how this will end here. Kraken will take game two. They've now taken both games here on handicap two. Yeah, and they definitely took um, game two on scratch. Yeah, and they are winning game, handicap one a lot here. So a big shift in scores here in the favor of Luis Kraken in game two. Yeah. We'll see if Long Island Legends can recover and try to get back at it for game three. Yeah, dare I say a sizable shift. Oh, yeah. Casey, I mean, at least he, he drew the split the wood, the second the one, not the first one. It, 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 just exactly what I was going to say. And he does hit the goal post on that, so yeah, so one doesn't leave for Brian goal. Radigan. You see a 673 width for Long Island Legends here, but they're going to lose to a 7, presumably 717 here. See the rain man right here can give us 
another beautiful spirit conversion that we've been giving you today on Caffeine TV. Not this time. Yep, that's all right. Didn't necessarily need it. Yep. All right, we're going to head back to watch the end of Handicap 1 here. As we see, uh, Strike here, we're making a 61-pin lead for the Kraken here. And the ball comes back, and the 7-pin stays up. Yeah, he, cra he cracked the pocket, but couldn't crack the seven. And Rich Lee with a strike, trying to get the momentum back a little bit in Long Island Legends' favor. I mean, we, we see uh, Kieran drew a turkey there, three in a row. Yep. Um, and Anthony opened last frame for the Kraken. Yeah, good old game of tug of war going on here on, on, yeah. on Handicap Pier 1. Still, uh, uh, still definitely in the favor of this Kraken, but this game can go back to Long Island's way if the Kraken allow it to. Hey, Justin. Uh, Quite, quite a hell of a shift. And you said you said what they had to do. Yeah, you, you said what you said. I told you. I said as long as we keep work, working at it, we're a young team. Yeah. We have adversity, but it's how we come back from it. So on both pairs. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Any words to any teams that may be watching this right now? Nope, but we're here. That's all that needs to be said. Pro shop guy up, lane 27. Ooh, takes another little move in right. And he gets all 10 down. What? Shout out to the lefties moving right out here. <laughs> all right, so we can say on handicap two that the, uh, the, the final score of the difference was uh, 44 pins there in favor of Kraken. They are up a good amount on handicap two there overall. We will watch the full, the, the finality of game two there once we're done with game one here. Oh, sorry. We'll watch the finale game three on handicap two once we're done with game two on handicap one. Indeed. Yes! And the revolution is still here. No revs, still, still striking. Meanwhile, on, on scratch, it will be uh, that Kraken, unfortunately, did not take the overall wood back just yet. Um, they are still, they're going to be down because. Depends on what Pierce does to finish. Well, I know what just happened over here. Uh, uh, another split. Another, another split for Rob, yeah. 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 And, you know, and... You didn't want that on a strike. You're trying to get back into the match. And hopefully the pins are not robbing Rob of his confidence because they're going to need that, yeah. especially going into game three. What do you feel? What do you feel your conversion rate has been and and might be is on the three six, six seven ten? ten. The oh, six seven ten, it? not yeah. good. Right. Oh, we almost saw it in stereo yeah. there. <laughs> I like now, the six really, ten better than really six seven ten. If you really want to know, I can go to my stats here. And as we see, Rob does not make it. Uh, six, seven, ten for me. Yeah, I'm 0 for 12 in, in um, since I've been cracking my stats here. So. Mm. Well, uh, he definitely was. That was an 0 for right there. Yeah. So the only bowler with a really nice score at all here on Handicap One is Blonde Jesus over here. Yes, yes, <coughs> Mr. Karen Carney. He had that one blemish of the. Uh, the uh, two four eight ten we saw earlier. Yeah, let's see. That's the only miss so far. Yeah, let's see if Blonde Jesus can stay loose. <laughs> oh my God! You knew. Come on, you knew it was coming. No, I did not. I did not <laughs> see that was going at all. Yeah. Very good. As Julian does make the spare here, as Kiernan gets the ball out and gets the ten pin to stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, he needed he needed a little more of prayer yeah. to, to get to kick that one out. So our pro shop guy here, he didn't throw a strike in the first six frames. That has the last two though to get you know get get back to reasonable ability scores. Yeah, yeah, reasonable definitely. scores. Excuse definitely. me. Well, you said reason to bill. So Reasonability. The, uh, I'm but, making up words here. I mean, well, there's a reason a bill has to get paid, and right yeah. now they have paid anything that they spent before, and they yeah, have definitely come back in spades. And gets all down. Shout out to the lefties moving right. <laughs> all 
right, there's a That's spare right, tell made him. by Kiernan. On scratch, um, the Kraken won game two, scratched by 80 pins. The difference right now between the two in total wood is 55. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 65 mm -hmm. in favor of Long Island Legends still. All right, Rich Lee stepping up on the left lane and goes through the nose there, leaves himself the six pin. Yeah, um, Rich definitely with what we um, call a classic down and in style of bowling. Um, hasn't really made a move with his feet. He switched equipment uh -huh. to try to keep himself in the same place, but he actually may have to take a little, a little journey left with his feet. Maybe. Lee with a six pin and oh my uh, this is right a drive by on the right side yeah mm. <coughs> uh, a game banging on a Sunday with them drive bys all right we're standing up in a tough frame and yeah that looks like crack and have this one well and done just a matter of by how much because total wood is very close right now I believe you know. and Dunning with a four pin to start off the tenth frame yeah, this is reminiscent of watching a, a, a very good game of chess. Just when you think it's over, um, some of the right moves and the right pieces, you know, get put into place. And then you see a shift, and you see he just shifted down to 10 pin yep. with all those revolutions. Yes, all those no revs that he has. Uh, you know, is it no revs or is it number of revs? You put a, oh, maybe. Put a, put, a put, a, put a period at the end of it. Maybe. <laughs> Dunning gets the spare as he goes up to try to strike to finish with a 172 here. Potential 235 finish. Let's see. Let's see if Anthony can finish this game off. Oh, gets through the nose and then starts the 36. Yeah, that was uh, for, for no revs that went awfully high. Yeah. Not a terrible potential finish. 223 still being good. You know, being that there's one open. They're going up. Going to go finish this game off. Leaves himself a 10 pin. Finished with a 171. All right, so 171 finish right there. Def definitely going from astronomical rise to maybe potentially a cataclysmic fin finish. M meanwhile, those two pins might come back to bond them. You never know as he flags the 610. All wood is good. Every yes. pin counts. Oh, yeah. The one thing you gotta like about a match like this is that nobody's laying down, nobody's trying to give up. Nope. Nobody nobody wants to go home with a sour face. No, not at all. You can see here, Cannon on the right trying to finish off this game. He can go out for 241 here. JQ on the left can go out for 204. Let's see what Blonde Jesus can do. And oh no, Ooh. lose on a 210. Yeah, all this philanthropy, people missing spares, opponents leaving splits. It's all about who wants it and who wants it more. All right, let's see how badly JQ wants it as he wants to try to ice this game out for the Kraken here on Handicap 1. Come on, kid! And gets them all to fall by a light mixer. Yeah, light mixer definitely uh, made a surface change. And Blon Jesus. He makes that spare. Yeah, yeah, and parted that like a Red Sea. Well, that's a lot of Spookovers we've seen, all made by the Long Island Legends. Yes. <laughs> so they don't just strike a lot, they spare a lot too. Yes, they do. They 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 fill they fill frames. I don't think they fear splits. Those little red circles don't, don't shake them up a bit. 
I don't think they like dashes a lot. All right, JQ trying to get this double here. Yeah, definitely want to keep their foot on the gas pedal. Slow start, fill up the tank, and they are far exceeding the speed limit. They want to keep it going, though. And Cross is over. He took a journey to the other state. Yes, he definitely did. So I think he's doing a journey, right? I think that was like a journey. Yes, yeah. I so. hope, yeah hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he converts so he don't want to, pay, Six, don't want to have to pay no toll. No, not at all. Kiernan again to try to get this last frame in. He was the 10th and finishes with a uh, 228, I believe. I believe I believe you're right. And with this pair right here, we give a 194 finish. Yeah, for, for Julian. All over it. So that was a 228 finish for Blonde yep. Jesus. And a 194 finish right here. Representative released the Krakens. Hey, look, we got a pro shop guy out. Could, could we see back six? Well, we'll see. He's got the three in a row right now, leading up to the center frame. Gets the ball in where he wants it, but a little too high in the mm. end. A 4 7 10. Yeah. And the transition is really showing you what it do. Oh, yeah. Especially when you have so many different bowlers, different styles, different rev rates. And, ooh, nine pin leave ooh, oh. by Rich Lee. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Poor non carry for Rich there. Now, let's see if up. Let's see if James can convert the split or not. Looks the ball out. Does not look like it, though. That's all right. And Didn't want to be greedy there. Yep. As they will feel finish around 168. So this total wood here on Handicap 1 is very, very close. The score says 1251 to 1204. However, the extra 65 is not in from game one. Mm. So... Sorry, 55. Is it 55? 72 minus 17. 55. Mm. Math. Yeah, Math. It's 55. Arithmetic. So that means that Legends will be up. Oh. Or. 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 There's a 158 here. You know what? They are stone tied at the two. Yeah. And this is they like. They both have 1259. It's 1259 on the screen. Yeah. And 55. So there's still time on Handicap 1. We so, will finish here once we're done with Handicap 2. Handicap 2 is in the fourth frame right now. We're yeah. going to go watch them yeah, dead finish. Yeah, and we're we'll definitely probably going have time two. to finish the end of Handicap 1 based on how they are separated. But we are here on Handicap 2 again. Handicap 2, the Kraken are up by a good amount um, in wood. But this game is very close right now. It's, it's only a three-pin difference. Even. Yeah, I know yes, I Dead know. even. And it's just like what I said before. Yeah. It's a race to what? 21. It's a race to 21, and it now has become a literal race yes. to 21. Because right now they are pretty much, I can have a slight lead points-wise only because they won both games here on Handicap 2. But the Wood, I think, is also slightly for them because they're even on Handicap 1, and they're down like 60 on, hand, on scratch. But they're up a lot here on Handicap 2. Mm. So Handicap 2 right now, the big difference maker here yep. for release cracking. However, in this game, we just see a five count here by uh, Rob Velez here as we see that if Jay strikes here, the Legends will take the lead this game. And unfortunately, he's on a four pin. Nice traditional four pin leave, but a four pin leave nonetheless. Stress level's up. Wood is basically even yeah. on, on, on all pairs, all together. This is what separates the men from the boys. Uh, or, 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 or the girls from the women. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we are here back on Scratch Pair. We're going to get the camera set up on Handicap 2 here. Scratch Pair, we are looking at uh, the Legends with a uh, slight lead start as we have uh, open frame by uh, Tony Maxiano on the first frame. Yeah. So now this goes back to what we were talking about before. 
any 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 split where you're going for too much, maybe miss a pin or two, it now comes back to haunt, especially if you're on the losing end of things. Because yeah. now every single pin, every little stripe on the pin, every little piece of wood that makes the pin, it matters now. Every fraction of it. And almost a 4-9 lead for Pierce Field there. Oh, we do see a sub change over here on the uh, Long Island side. Yeah, yeah. Another Lipson has been added to the mix. Zane yeah, Rob Lipson. Dunning is out, and, and Zane Lipson is in. Wow. So for, for those watching, yes, you can do that. If, if between you, games. If Not in, during in, the game, but between games. In between games. If you see that someone is looking a little shaky, you know, call in a sub. Some of them, when you watch sports on TV, get them to the, get them to the, to the table. You get, get the gear on, get the jersey on. Yeah, and I think that also means that for this game that they'll get, um, I think, two extra sticks. I think Zane is a 220. Oh, no, I think it might be the same. Is either yeah. the same or one pin? I think Zane is a 228. Mm. So they'll be either the same or one pin difference in, in the uh, handicap. Again, remember, the handicap was tied going into this last game. Yep. All right, we're going back to handicap two here. Okay. So we're back here, handicap two. We're catching up just at the end of the fourth frame. We will give you guys a quick update um, as Release of Kraken are up by 13. Sorry, Long Island Legends are up 13, but now they're up 23 after that strike by Cotter. Mm. So, the sub, so the sub in, or the sub out, rather. Yes. Good idea, bad idea, what do you I think? I mean, if you have a bowler who's 220 on average and shooting 170s, I think it's a good idea. Good point. Oh, and we got another dead wood situation. Pin in the gutter. It was uh -oh. costly before. Yeah. I just see Connolly up on the left lane. Uh, um, they might come into play now. We see a 10 pin. Yeah. And, and speaking to the overall wood, being so close, I go back to when one of the bowlers on handicap one shot with their spare and yep. made contact and it ended up being a miss. Yep. That's 10 extra pins. Yep. While Jay Lipson does strike here in a fifth frame. It's all right. I didn't charge you. All right, let's see if we can get it. Does not hit the pin and hits the correct pin. Yeah. Uh, the pin that was standing. Yeah, being very flirtatious with disaster <laughs> was Mr. Conley there. Yes. Hey, hey Justin, you was kind of flirting with that. You was flirting with that. It looks like we're going to get out now, just in time. But uh, Brian will go up first on the right lane here for the Legends. And Brian does not get the 10 pin to fall. Yeah, a little a little wiggle. Yeah. Or maybe a wobble with the wobble with the wobble. Uh, <laughs> How you been? I'm doing good. Doing good. Doing a little work. Doing a little work. And, and definitely didn't waste any time getting the pin out of the gutter there. Yeah. High drama right now in game three. Everything is super close. Everything is super tight. Tight like Virgin. <laughs> well, obviously, Radigan converting a 10 pin here for the Legends. Uh -huh. They are up a little bit here. Velez up on the left lane. Has an open in the fourth. Trying to get back on track here. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen a sub out in a while, and that's when you know that it's 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 real. Yes. It's real out here. And now back on track. Yeah. And hot garbage definitely showing you that those shots, especially when in the clutch, are it's not, not trash. Not trash. There you go. <laughs> And the expressions are changing on all the bowlers' face now because yes, they, they know, know it's what it is. Close. They know it's a very close match right now. Yeah. And we got, and we got the rain man up right here, lane 29. Oh, way inside. That's way inside, yeah. But lucky, only the six foot stands. Yes, very lucky, very, very fortunate. I remember when Justin Conley 
and I spoke, and he mentioned uh, forming a team, and he said he knew what he was going to put together. And we're seeing right now he's putting together a lot. He put together a lot of a crew of, of young hitters who want to fight. Yep. They got they got something to say. In my Andre 3000 voice. <laughs> Rain Man can versus Spare, and you can see that the game right now is, again, still a slight edge for this game at least. Yeah. For the Legends, they're on 13, over two strikes compared to one. Uh huh. Well, that is when all frames need to be filled. Preferably X's, okay but slashes, and they are trying to avoid any and every dash that they can avoid. Oh, yeah. All right. There's Anthony Cotter trying to get out. Oh, no. And those dashes. Oh, no. That spare does not look dashing at all. Not at all. The Greek church for the lefty. Here's Connolly on the right lane trying to get, trying to answer and answer with a strike. Yeah, Cotter missed and Connolly made him pay. Oh, yeah. You know, a shout out to these purple pom poms right, that Kraken has and. Gets the three. So gets the three. You're on a strike. You want to get, guarantee the three there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Velez up. Wait, wait. Rob Velez on the right, straight over the second arrow. And comes in high, but leaves the six pin. Gets out of trouble. Yeah, it throws what looks to be a six count, but it shows up as a nine count. Yes. Now Jay Lipson trying to answer back, trying to get a double here. Gets the ball in and gets them all down. Yes, yeah, knocks the seven pin over the edge. And he's already commented on them too. Yes, yes, shout out. To, again, shout out to these purple pom poms. <laughs> yeah, they, they are magical out here. <laughs> they have caused the shift. We actually put her in a match and we won 28 12. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> we, we call that trust <laughs> and believing, trust in the process. All right, Brian Radigan up on the left lane has thrown four straight spares, trying to get back on the strike train and gets on the strike train, pulled yeah. out of the station. Yeah, Rat avoiding the tap right there, takes the seven out, makes the seven lay down slow. Let's see what Rain Man can do over here. Casey on the right. Casey is at the bat. Casey gets the ball out, but is it out far enough? Yes, it is. Yeah, he definitely got the ball out there. Flush. He knew he got away with one before. He didn't want to take a chance at it again. Yep. And after that open frame by Cotter, the Lion Legend lead is now down to nine. Mm. Now Connor Lee on the left trying to get a double here to get his team back into it. And the five pin misses the seven. Yeah, that 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 smacked the pocket there. Um that was not a good smack. That was not a good smack. Luckily, only leaves a seven pin, though. Mm -hmm. That smack almost stung. But he definitely um, is, is left with one pin. It's OK. That almost looked like it could have been a 5 7 10. He could have been, as we see. Connolly, light mixer, but the three pin stands. Yeah, that could have been a bucket. It could have been a bucket. A lot of shoulda's and coulda's. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Connolly flags the seven pin there. Not what you want to see in this, mm. this close of a game here. Well, if woulda, coulda, and shoulda, coulda did, then he woulda spared. Yeah, and Connor takes advantage of that and does get the spare on yeah, the you three gotta, pin. Yeah, you gotta jump on those. Oh, yeah. So we got Velez up on the left, Lipson up on the right. Let's see what let's see what Velez has to say to Lipson here. Yeah, Velez, he's on the spare trying to get back on the strike. Because Lipson across the across the river and has to double already. And nice flush 
strike there. Yeah, he dove in the oil there. Blaise. Yep. Let's see if Jay can answer because this is a huge strike for uh, Long Legends here. The only guy on a double here, Jay Lipson. Gets the ball out. Does he get a Oh, it overreads. Three, six, nine. Yep. High on the head, right through the face. And no split. Yeah, but, no split. Yeah, but. but it's, a, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's it tough. tough. And you know why it's tough. You got to get you gotta double wood in the there back you there. There you go. You got to be able to hook at it so you can get the two in front and then also have the ball take up the pin in the back. Yeah, that's always annoying with those those little back pins. Yeah, deflection leaves you leaves you reflecting on what you should have did. You know, Casey pitching and ten yeah, pin yeah, is yeah. sent down by the messenger. Come on, Casey. Well, Jay trying to make the spare. Makes it a little hard way, but you know, yeah. it works. And you and right there. Now, here's the story about the seven pin miss from Justin Connolly. Yes. It didn't deflect or it didn't deflate anything from the Kraken. No. So it actually, they it actually struck. woke them up. Yeah, because they both struck right after that. Sometimes you got to miss to make something happen. And maybe he made something happen for those other two teammates. But needless to say, I don't think he wants to miss again. <laughs> Not at all. All right, Radigan trying to get a double here for the Legends to try to take a bigger lead here and does so. Mm. Very smooth shot there. There's no reason to debate anymore. Well, well, let's the see. difference in handicap for these uh -huh. guys is 11 pins here. 11 pins mm. uh, in favor of um, the Kraken, I believe. No, no, in favor of the Legends. Legends get 60. Yeah. The Kraken get 49. Yeah, that's that, in one of those adrenaline matches. It was like you. you no, sorry, the other round. The Kraken get 60 and the Legends get 49. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm looking. The screen's all messed up for me, but. No, so basically, what good. you're saying is it's really freaking close. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, it's really freaking close. As we see both Connor and Connolly leading off the eight frames for their respective teams of strikes. Yep. Oh, yeah, you see, everybody's staying really aggressive. And you have to be aggressive, but you still got to stay in rhythm. And you still got to have your head about you. You have to stay loose and still attack at the same time. Yep. Let's see if Jay can get back on track after that seven count last frame. He gets it a little further out this time and flushes it all. Yeah, great adjustment there by, by, by Jay. Yes. He is a veteran of the game. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Jay Lipson throwing a great ball. You're not going to see a whole lot of lip from him, but you're going to see a lot of good shots. Yes. Here's Rob Velez on the right lane. Gets the ball out, and oh no! Does I don't think not this, get the seven pin. Down. I don't think the seven should have been nah. still standing after that shot. No, not at all. That's a bad break there on on Velez's side. You know, get, bowling is a game of skill, but also a game of luck as well. Yes. And you want both of those things to work together. It's a great team. See Radigan go here for the Legends, trying to get a turkey on board here. Don't be a chicken, be a turkey. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> and birds of a feather. <laughs> All right, there he spreads his wings there. Yes, sir. Now, total wood might be a little out of reach here for the Legends, but winning this game could be could, could go a long way for every total. Total wood will matter. All right, here is Justin Con. Oh, no, this is um, Casey for the Kraken, and he gets turkey yes. to match. So right now we are down, separated by 18 pins here. Yeah, it seemed that Belez's legends. Yeah, Belez's strike, uh, Belez's shot walked just so his can run, and it ran all the pins down on yep, that yep. one. Yep. All right, Connolly up here on the left lane for release the Kraken. Trying to get a double here. Set up in the ninth frame. Oh, but the 10 pin stands. Yeah, Justin, I heard him back here. He even said he's, he's throwing that thing hard. And Connor also misses in the ninth yeah. frame. Leaves an eight count, leaves up three five. Yeah, they both threw it hard. Only um, yeah. Justin is forcing his shot in. And to guarantee pocket, 
Yes. Because he already knows how close it is. He doesn't want to try to finesse anything. See the 10 pin conversion here. And uh, makes it. Ooh. By the skin of its teeth. Anthony Cotter trying to make this 3 5 and does so. And no no chop this time. No we saw chop. We saw a chop of that earlier in the day. I was just taking a peek over there, handicap pair one. I think that was a good sub. Oh, yes, I think so too. We will go over there again to finish this match, I'm presuming as we're here in the night frame of Handicap 2. As Rob Velez is up trying to get a strike to get his team in position to try to win this game. But oh no, that went right through the nose. Three, 10 baby split. Yeah, so we got, we got our first baby of the day on TV. All right, Jay Lipson up on the right lane trying to get a double. A double here would be huge for the legends after the baby split on the left, ball comes back, and all go down. Yep. Oh, Lipson with an assertive high five because yes. he knows that that shot was big. And, and oh, we, no babies. No babies being made. We call that the POG. That was the pull-off game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lord, I apologize to my co-commentator. Uh, uh, he <laughs> won't. <laughs> And, and um, hopefully that didn't pull them out of any opportunity to win. Anywho, Brian Radigan on three in a row trying to get this fourth strike to keep his team in the lead and does so. Big four-bagger for Radigan. Yeah, definitely a big four-bagger. Rayman needs to respond. Yes, Casey, Casey is at the bat and needs this strike here to, if his team even wants to think about winning this game. Yes. Uh, he's on the bottom for a reason, and he's showing you why. Let's see if he can stay focused and keep making it rain. Doesn't want it to go in a drought. And, and no all, drought. And all go down. All go down. No drought for Rain no Man. No drought for Rain Man. All right. We're in the frame. The situation right now is that Long Island Legends says they're up 21, but it's a little more than that. Mm -hmm. Show the those middle, middle bowlers. One's on open, one's on a double. Yeah. So, so that could be a 30 pin swing there alone. All right, here's got to hurry. Gets the ball out and gets it all down. Cotter up for the Legends. Gets the ball to the other side and leaves the 5 8. Yeah, he threw that one like he knew he needed it because he did need it. It's an EPC situation. Every, every pin, pin matters. Every pin matter. As it, all pins matter. All pins matter, yes. All pins matter. Yeah! Yeah! It. All right, Connor needs a spare here. And it looks like he got it. That was big. <laughs> Your team's in the lead, you don't want to blood blemish it. An extremely necessary spare. Yeah. Connor with a strike. And Connolly with a big strike there to try to get his team back into it. Yeah, third one would definitely be a statement strike. Yes. Kind of a you better show up strike. And he and the he's, first thing to show up here would be Jay because Jay's the big one on, on this on ten frame alone. Yeah, super sub. Being on a double. No, 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 I'm saying Jay. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I thought you saw my um, six no, man no. of the year come no. off the bench. <laughs> we'll get we'll get to that later possibly, but um, yeah. Right here, it looks like we're gonna see uh, Cotter gonna go first here on the left. Trying to finish off this 181 game here. Gets the ball in, gets the ball down, and leaves the six pin for a 180. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure he's definitely happy it was a nine instead of an eight. Yep. Justin up to try to get, finish off his 10 frame, and gets all 10 down. 185 for Justin Connolly. Yeah, but yeah, could have could have been 20, 205 if he would have made that seven pin. But yeah. he definitely he didn't let us shake him up in the tenth frame. Nope. All right. 
So right now, Legends up eight, but that could jump to a bigger number if Jay throws a strike right here. Yeah, that's the every every single shot is a, a big a shot. A strike here takes a lot of pressure off your team. And not only that, also Total Wood is very close as well. We know that. Oh, we do know that. It's rush hour in the middle of the day on the train close. First here on the left. Gets the ball in and leaves himself the 10 pin. Yeah, that was too far in. That, yeah. that was a whole lot of skin, not a lot of flip. Not a lot of flip, no. Let's see if we can flip the script right, right. here. Velez, Velez inside. Oh, his, his, his ball is skidding all the way down. Oh, yeah. And leaves a range. They both leave 10 pins. Whose 10 pin conversion do you like better? They're both probably going to make it. Mm. Jay will get his shot at it first. And Jay gets his down. Again, big on a double. Yeah, very big. by Velez, gets it down. And, and grab the lane at the very yeah. right time. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Jay trying to finish this game off with a 205 with a strike here. Mm -hmm. um, right now the Legends are up 27, both men on the bottom with doubles. Mm. So every shot will count here. But All 10 goes down for Jay. That's big. Mm -hmm. Now Rob wants all 10 here. Trying to make it as easy as possible for anchor bowlers here. Yeah, I was going to say the story right now is the anchors. Both of them are on four workers going into the tent. And all 10 down for Velez. Yeah, and uh, gives a little salute. A little tells wave. The, pins the pins are number one. Yeah, they're, one, they're always going to be number one in his book. The pins are number one. And uh, we got... Radican on the left lane for the Legends, and Casey on the right lane for Kraken. We're gonna see. I say, I'm looking at scratch scores. Scratch. This game is very close as well. Oh jeez. Oh, Rayman up. Yep. Lane 30. This game is so Rayman will go first. He's a strike to force a strike on Radigan's side and gets them all down. Yes. All right, Brian's turn. He needs to match. Do we have a response? And Radigan. Oh! He's oh. a four pin. Hey, and so, wow. So that means he's to make this and then get good counts and win the game. Yeah. But the story is also keeping the overall world close. Overall world, yes. So that hit was big. Yes. But that's why you wanted your other bowlers to match up. That mm -hmm. way, you could, when you're up 27, you can afford to miss a once as long as you fill the frame. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if Casey can continue to put the pressure on Rob, but on um, Brian, who does not, oh. as he's a five count. Look, it's freak up. And Radican will make the four pin, so Legends will win yeah. game three here on Handicap 2. But it, the uh, total wood for this pair will go to Kraken. So Kraken will win this pair eight to two. Yeah. He didn't like the way his feet fell on that one. All right, we're going to head over to... Now this one's over, we're going to head over to Scratch to see how that will finish off real quick. As they're in 10th frame there. We will set you guys up with the story here. Uh, the Long Island Legends will be up by 14 here with both bowlers, have, both teams having a bowler with a double and a bowler on a spare. So yeah. they are, it is a 14 pin difference here. Um, double wood, uh, wait, double Deadwood. Double Deadwood on 26. That's what the Kraken's got to deal with. Kraken going first here. This is Chris again, Chris Vietri. He's on a spare. Trying to get a strike and leaves the 10 pin. Oh. Now you got Bennett on the left on a double, trying yeah. to get a bigger lead here for the Legends. Oh, and the ball jumps on him, on, and we got a 4 10 split. Now, here's the story here. 
mercifully for you, if you if if you're bowling against him, he leaves a split. Yes. But you got a ten pin with a pin kind of close to it in the gutter. Yeah. So you could potentially give an opportunity back. So now you put more pressure on yourself when shooting the spare, in my opinion. Eh. Stressing me out, and I'm not even moving. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Let's see if Chris can make the stand pin. Come on, Chris! Yes. And he makes it. And I got more dead wood out there. And more dead wood. We got murderous, murderous spares being made. We got SP, we got special pins unit over here. She's out here. That's, that's right, Reese. <laughs> I remember the gold pins. I would have loved to hold them. Well, I know one thing is definitely golden. The opportunity that any of these teams have to be, to make a statement in their in their division. And oh, Benny gave it a run, but it's just the one. Finishes on 190. Yep. And these these two teams right now battling as if they were at Battle Bowl right now. That's what they want to get back to. Long Island Legends, like we said before, they've made it in the playoffs before, got knocked out of round one both times. Release the Kraken. It's their inaugural year, their inaugural season. They they got something to say and they're here to make a statement. This strike right here definitely will make a statement, saying that we're here and we're trying to finish you off. Let's see if he's gonna release the Kraken. And all ten go down. So that's a 203 for Chris. So now we got a situation here where it says that the uh, legends are up 11, but it's actually if they both go sheet, the Kraken win by nine. Mm. But that Pierce will go first on the left lane. Here. Yeah, race to 21 is real. Pierce on the spare. Needs this strike to force to force Phil to get as many as he can. Mm. Ball goes out, ball comes in, ball over reads, a 4 6 7 split. Wow. That left lane burnt up real fast, look yep. like. I take my time on this shot and I really settle into it. Especially when no pressure was applied. Yeah. Now you need. Ball goes out and leaves the 10 pin. He's going to need to make the 10 pin to win the game. Yeah. Pierce is going to go for the two. He's gonna no, he's going to go for it all. Oh. But he's not hit it right. Yeah. So, yeah, right now, he's made a step in to win the game. Mm. Otherwise, it's a tie. And again, what I would have did after that split was left, I would have called the lame man over. I would have took the wood out. I would have made him think about it. But then again, youth, talent. Yep. Potential, yep. but slight inexperience. Yep. And they're going to call the cops because we keep killing pins over here. So that means that the scratch pair will go 6 4 in the favor of the Long Island Legends. And, and you know what? Not for nothing. Release the Kraken is creating somewhat of a Kill Bill esque list of people that they have taken out. Yep. And they're putting themselves. You know, on the map, and they're putting teams on notice. Yes. Not just in this division. But everywhere in the UBA. Everyone in the UBA needs to watch this. Yeah! They say the Kraken is a myth, but it's very real out here in Wanto. All right, we're going to head back over to Handicap 1. As, again, we are super close here between the two teams. Indeed. And, and it, Scratch went in favor of the Legend 6-4. Handicap 2 went in favor of the Kraken 8-2. Again, this pair was tied after two games in Wood. And right now it's a 21 pin difference. But I just give 41 pin difference with that strike. And now we have Mr. Lee up on the right. And the 10 pin does not go down. And it looks like the Kraken have a really good shot for a big lead here if we see a strike from Lizzo. Yeah. And you know what? Shout out to Pro Shop guy. You know, he, he heard, must have heard what you said. He said, I don't just hang out in one. Yeah, it's I, on my I back. Run one. <laughs> and he gets that ball down and in. And comes back and gets all 10 down. 
Well, before he was the anchor dragging down, and now he's the anchor right now that is cementing and, and staking the claim that released the Kraken. They got something to say, and I think we all see and hear what they got to say. Yep. All right, here is our, the super sub, Zane Lipson, up in the 10th frame. And leaves a fourp in there. Yeah, both, both him and Anthony were on doubles here. You know, it speaks to how tough you are when you're causing the team to to uh, force them to sub. Yep. And all turned down there for Anthony. As Zane converts the four pin. Zane finishing off with a strike there. Uh oh. There's a 216. Yeah. Zane, Zane talking a little bit. Yep. Let's see. Let's see if the revolution is still here. He's a big. He's all ten here and gets it. And a lot of noise here made by the by the least cracking on the on the back here. And, and you know what? Not for nothing. I said these teams were a little quiet, but see, when when it fights like this, you gotta say something. Oh yeah. Well, let's see if the service is still happening as Blonde Jesus is up. Oh. Ten pin left there by. Uh, well, in by the book Kiernan. of tap, the ten pin stands up. All ten down for the party to finish the game. Cracking sending statements to everyone that we're here and we mean business. Good. I told you it's it's more now than a mythological monster. It's a monster for real. Oh yeah. And we're up, and JQ adding to the sauce right now, and they're still cooking. Oh, yeah. Let's see what Jesus has to say. Is it C or no? Definitely gets the carry there. Yep. He would have liked the first one to fall. Yeah, the 215. Yeah, that's what we call him in the business. Too little, too late. Yeah, exactly. But this game is pretty much out now. At this point, we're just uh, finishing off. It will be a win for Release Kraken. They will win. Let me do some quick mats here. It will be 30 to 10. A statement victory. A statement victory for sure. Got a little Goldberg feel to them. A little bit of a who's next. <laughs> Sky's the limit for them. And not taking anything away from Long Island Legends. Oh, yeah. They've made it to the playoffs before for a reason. And they'll probably make the playoffs again this and year. They, 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 they probably will again this year. And they're going to remember a, a match like this. And I feel bad for whoever they have to bowl next. Oh, yeah. Because you, 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 don't, for, you don't forget getting stomped out. A great man, John Witherspoon, once said, you win some, you lose, you lose some. some. You live to fight another day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they will fight another day. But on this day, this Sunday, here in AMF Wontaw, it is the day of the Kraken. As you lose, I'll try to finish off this big game here. And another strike. We can finish this game off at uh, 260. That's right. What's cracking? Release the cracker. 
And we see Rich Lee finish off a 200 game. 216, 215, 200. But 215, 214, and what could be 260 for, or at least the Kraken. Two forty nine is still fine. Yep. Oh, God. Finish it off, 249. Again, 30 to 10 win for Lisa Kraken. In a statement game here for them. Sean Knight's in the crowd. What is Sean Knight doing? Sean Knight. Get the pom-poms on. Let's get Kraken! Hey, there it is. Yeah, we got it cracking here today. Yes, it was a great is. match, Long Island Legends. Unfortunately, fall to release the Kraken. It looks it sounds like it might be 30 to 10. 30 to 10. Yep. And until next time. We got Kraken. We got it cracking. And thanks for keeping the Kraken with That's us. That's Sondite. I'm Rambler. We'll be back another day very soon. That's right. Stay tuned.